Hey guys, welcome back to another clip of Schach Manuel Lernen. Today we continue our puzzle run to 3000 rating. Uh, difficulty normal again and after activating Zen mode we start right away. So here when we check the material it's quite equal. Um, checks we have there here just the queen can recapture so that's a bit out of the question um, but we see this king is a bit vulnerable because here everything is missing so if the queen wouldn't be here we could capture there king has to go there and after rook it's a disaster for black so we need to bring this queen somehow uh, away from protecting this pawn. So we can think about capturing here. If the queen captures, we play what we checked before, like capture, king goes there, and something like rook f1 with the threat of check. Um, if we capture here, however, he's not forced to recapture with the queen, he can also recapture with the bishop. Um, if he recaptures with the bishop, we still can't capture because the queen is still here. But now we can play rook f1 and the queen has to go away. If she goes there for protecting the pawn, we can still simply capture. And then we have an X-ray at the end. Um, the problem is if we play it here, the move, he can simply capture here. And then we have to recapture and he has time to play bishop e5. And then, yeah, the attack is gone. So I believe it's rook captures, bishop captures, rook f1. If he captures here, it's a checkmate in two moves. And if he plays queen h4, I believe it's rook captures f6. Let me play this one. Okay, this one I didn't calculate it slash showed it because after capturing, capture, recapture, we're simply up material at the end. Like an entire night and we should be able to win that. Um, here we are material down. Um, checking for checks. This is the only one. He recaptures and then we are a rook down instead of a bishop and the pawn can be easily stopped so there's not a lot to waste time on that. Um, at the moment this bishop is pinned so we can use the fact that we have a free pawn and that we try to yeah, simply walk with that. Why I think about this? Um, if we can't capture every move rook is a bit pointless um, because here's also a pawn hanging and he has here a check and everything. That's why if it's not the check, a rook move is pointless. The bishop moves are quite limited in this situation. And king moves, it's really rarely that it's a king move because, yeah, except it's a pawn end game, um, normally it's not a king move. That's why I came up with the idea of c3, knowing that the bishop here is hanging, 
if he captures the bishop, we can play c2. And yeah, he will play bishop d3. And if we make a queen, that's capturing, capturing. But we have a slightly better variation after c3, capturing c2, playing this. Yeah, we can first capture with the rook the bishop and then make the queen. Material-wise, it's the same, but we can convert it with a check. So c3, he goes there. And if king goes there, we can now capture. Otherwise, after this, he can stop the pawn. Um, and when I say these words, I realize that after capture, capture this one, he can simply stop the pawn. So here, I believe we have to play now c2. And if we place bishop d2, we, ha we have rook to d1. If he captures, we make a queen. If he captures the bishop, we capture here and then make a queen. So it should be c2, rook d1, perfect. And yeah, it was not really solid because after here, I should have calculated this line. Because in a real game, you also have to calculate everything in advance and not Playing one or two move because you don't know if it's correct. Talking about king's moves, um, now we have that. It's a pawn end game. So, yeah, my first intuition is with walking with three pawns, past pawns. Um, so, capture, capture. Then I guess he will go here, and if we go there, he's in time to stop our pawn. Um, if we play first this, he has to play this, otherwise, let's say if he plays this move, it's um, a raise. There, there, capture, capture, this one, this one, this one, this one. And we make a queen with check, but that looks more like a draw. So, yeah, that doesn't look like the right solution. So, I believe, because... His trump is clearly these two pawns. And yeah, I thought about g4, that it stops these two pawns. And then we can, yeah. And then these two pawns are a bit better than these two pawns. So we can calculate g4, king d6. Um, yeah, he want to stop us. Other options are kind of out of the questions. If he plays this, um, we are in the square. And then we have two pass pawns, which are like really far away from each other. So it's kind of tough to stop that from a king alone. So g4, king here if he goes here we will just start running and yeah if he goes here we also have that his pawns here are blocked we can go to this pawn here and these two pawns are stopping this one so that should be the solution and c4, perfect. So here the key is to realize 
that we both can run here and here but black is faster and it will just end in a draw and with the important move g4 which is called minority attack um, we stop with one pawn two pawns of him and with this very important lesson about pawns and games and reaching more than 2500 i wish you a wonderful week have fun by solving your own puzzles, stay healthy and see you soon.